New insight into the federal case surrounding the top's mass killer who has already been convicted on state charges and sentenced to life in prison with no chance of parole. Well, new documents in his federal case show how his defense team is trying to get the death penalty thrown out. Joining me live here tonight is attorney Florina Altshiler, kind to uh, help us understand these complex cases from time to time. It's good to see you. Good to see you. So this was just filed recently. We knew a while back. I mean, they've been trying to get the death penalty taken out of contention here, right? Because the shooter was 18 years old when this happened. This new document is called motion to dismiss count 27 of the indictment. So let me get that out of the way first. I mean, just one count. What is really what is that about? I in short, this is much ado about nothing. Yep. It's one count. It has nothing to do with the 26 other counts. He would still be facing the death penalty if convicted on any of those other counts. So even if count 27 is dismissed, it really does not matter. The technical argument as to count 26 is 27 is that they did not identify a specific victim. What they argued and the way they pushed forward count 27 is that his intent was to kill generally black people. Now, what that goes to is that it's a hate crime. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason for that count was to establish that the crime was committed as a hate crime with the general intent of attacking people who are black. So as the defense team continues to try to get the death penalty thrown out here, I mean, they have a couple of arguments, right? One, that he was 18 years old. And then also in this, um, they talk about something to do with the grand jury. What, what is that argument? So there's an argument that the indictment by which this case was moving forward through the grand jury uh, should be dismissed. Again, another technical argument, they're arguing that this is a misuse of the federal grand jury. They're arguing that also because he's already pled guilty on the state charges to each and every single count and has been sentenced to the absolute maximum there this is a wasteful use of a federal grand jury for something that in their opinion is duplicative but it's not because under federal rules he's facing the death penalty and so as, as someone I know you're not directly connected to this case you can kind of speak freely about it, it, it what do you think are the chances that that this is is no, successful. I, I think two things. First, it is not likely to be successful. But secondly, even if it is successful, it really does not matter because the 26 other counts survive and continue forward. So you think the death penalty will end up being on the table here? I mean, the, that's sort of the big the big question. That is that is the big question. The death penalty is on the table. The death penalty is going to remain on the table. And the purpose of the federal case is for the feds to pursue the death penalty. And, you know, we have a new president soon to take office who perhaps will bring death penalty cases back as far as enforcing them, whereas the um, President Joe Biden, there were no, no one was put to death during that time. So um, a lot to process with this. Florina Altshiler, great to see you as always. Thank you. Thank you for having me.